Thanks for joining me today on another Nikon NX Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about using active delighting when you're editing your photos in Nikon NX Studio. And recently I did an updated tutorial on using Nikon NX Studio 2025. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I'll put a link here where you can watch it. Today we're just going to be talking about using the active delighting feature before you really do any editing in Nikon NX Studio. Now, the reason why I say that is because a lot of people don't realize how active delighting works and how it can improve your photo. Now, what is active delighting? Well, here is what Nikon says about active delighting. Active delighting is a technology that optimizes high contrast images to restore shadow and highlight details that are often lost when strong lighting increases the contrast between bright and dark areas of your image. And here is an example of what active delighting can do. Now, there is no other editing done to this photo of this little wallaby. All that I have done is just use active delighting. Can you see the difference between an image that hasn't had active delighting activated and one that has been activated? Now, something that you might not realize is that when we shoot in RAW, is that if you use active delighting, it is imprinted in your NEF file. This is something a lot of people don't realize. They say, well, I'm shooting in RAW. All my camera settings, apart from the ISO, the shutter speed and my aperture, I can control that later in my editing software. I can change the white balance, I can change the saturation. You can. That is not a problem at all. But if you're using active delighting, that setting is put into your photo. And if you're using any other editing program apart from NX Studio, then that setting will be put into your image. If you're using NX Studio, you can wind back that. So for example, if you used active delighting high and you realize, well, my exposure's wrong, I can go in there and turn it off. But if you're using Adobe Lightroom or another editing program, you will find that that has affected your image. So bear that in mind. Saying that, I set active delighting on my landscape images to normal because I found this is such a good way to balance my exposure between the bright highlights and the dark shadows. And I found I get better exposures doing that. But now let's go in and I'll show you a couple of images of how active delighting can help you get the most out of your NEF file and also make your editing so much easier because who wants to spend a lot of time in front of our computer, in front of our laptop, editing a photo? I don't. Before I open up NX Studio and show you how I use active delighting in NX Studio, let me show you what active delighting does and the settings of active delighting, because there's quite a few. And also, there's two sets of images here. The first set I shot in manual exposure and in RAW. The second set was shot in aperture priority. So my aperture stayed constant, but my shutter speed changed to show you what active delighting does and how much light comes into your image at different settings. So this is a fairly plain image, but concentrate on this very dark area of greenery on the right hand side here. So active delighting here is off. Active delighting is set to low. Active delighting is set to medium. Can you see how the shadows are starting to lighten up a bit? But my highlights aren't changing too much. This is set to high. The next one here is set to extra high. The next one here is set to extra high too. Now let's look at the images taken in aperture priority. So here active delighting is off and it's at 1 one sixtieth of a second. In low, it hasn't changed at all at 1 one sixtieth of a second. Now at medium, at 200th of a second, I 250th of a second, this shows that there is more light 
hitting our sensor, active delighting is saying, well, I'm going to try to balance out the shadows and this is what it has done. Now at extra high one, it is 320th of a second. Now look what's happened at extra high two. It has just brought a lot more light, trying to balance the dark shadows and our shutter speed has gone up. Now let's open up NX Studio and we'll look at a few photos. So we have three photos here. The kangaroo on the left, the landscape photo with a bit of me and a, a small creek in the middle and a very underexposed sunset photo. Now bear in mind that active delighting is not a silver bullet. If you've underexposed your image too much, then active delighting is not going to be able to help you like you think it is. Active delighting is meant to help you balance very bright areas and very dark areas in your image. If your image is underexposed like this sunset photo, then you're going to be pushing uphill, just like if you were editing this photo in Adobe Lightroom. So remember that you still have to try to get your exposure correct, even if you're using active delighting. Let's look at the kangaroo first. This is without any editing at all. And we have active delighting on the right here. Now remember, you can only use active delighting if your image is an NEF file. It's a raw image, just like changing your picture control and using and, and using exposure compensation. These settings can only be used in Nikon NX Studio if the image is a raw file. If it is not a raw file, if it is a JPEG or a TIFF file, these adjustment tools will be grayed out and you will not be able to use them. Let's look at the active delighting here. We have off, we have low, we have normal. My apologies in the images that you saw before, I put down has medium, but we'll just call it normal here. We have high. Now you can see active delighting really is starting to work. It's trying to balance out the bright background to the very dark shadows that this wallaby is showing. Now we go to extra high and look at that. Now, if I go all the way up to the top in the adjustments current, there's a little yellow tick box here. If I untick that, all the settings are taken away. This is without any setting. This is with just active delighting set to extra high one. And if I go to extra high two, just want to show you how active delighting works just on this image here. And look, just by using active delighting, my image is just about done. I can just come down to brightness and color. I can just increase the contrast a little bit because the image is a little bit flat. I'll increase the saturation a bit and it's a bit cool here. So I can just go to my white balance and just increase the color temperature slightly. There, that looks so much better. And that's it. Can you see how little editing I was able to do just by using active delighting? Take a look at our landscape image here. We said extra high one looked really good. Let's try extra high two. Let's try active delighting normal. This looks pretty good. What about high? This looks quite good. Now remember, when we're editing an image like this, we don't want to make our image a 2D image. We still want it to keep has a 3D image. If we increase our shadows too much, then it basically becomes a 2D image. We've lost all the detail because we want some of those shadow details to show up in our image. If everything is bright in our image, it just looks flat. There is no real detail in the image because everything is the same brightness. It's good to see bright areas. It's good to see dark areas. Not too dark, but it's good to have the combination of the two. This is why it's good to have nice highlights, nice midtones, and nice shadows. And we keep all those three in balance. And that's what active delighting does. And I quite like on high. Now let's increase the saturation a bit because the image is a little bit flat in color. We'll give it a bit of contrast, not too much. Can you see if we add too much contrast, we're increasing the shadows again. So not too much. Now let's go to our white balance. We'll just warm the image up slightly. There, that looks quite good. Let's go up to the top here and see the before and after. So this is before, this is after. I'll close the panel here so you can see in this comparison, the unedited photo is on the left 
the edited photo is on the right. Let's go back to single image. What happens if we remove our white balance setting, remove our brightness and color? Let's go back to comparison now. Look, just by using active delighting, we saved ourselves by using highlight protection, by using shadow protection. So I hope in this short tutorial, you can see why using active delighting when you're editing your images in Nikon NX Studio is so beneficial to you. And it's a time saver. Who wants to spend a lot of time editing photos at home when you could be doing other things? I'm married. I've got a teenage daughter. My wife works full time. I'd rather spend time with my daughter. I'd rather spend time cooking a nice meal for my wife or spending time with her when she's at home instead of sitting down at this desk editing a lot of photos. If this Nikon NX Studio has been of benefit to you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback about this tutorial, leave it in the comments section below and I'll answer your question. Enjoy your editing in NX Studio and I'll see you next time.